Welcome to Choral Evensong and to Truro Cathedral. I am very pleased that we are joined in our act of worship this afternoon by those listening to this service via the radio or the internet. Today we remember and celebrate Saint Luke the Evangelist. Luke is described by Saint Paul as the beloved physician. He is believed to be the author of two books of the New Testament, the Gospel which stands in his name and the Acts of the Apostles. We offer our praise and thanksgiving for Luke's life and his ministry in words and music. O oh Lord, open thou our lips. Make speed to save us. Oh Lord, make choir now sings the office hymn, Let the Round World with Songs Rejoice.
choir sings the psalm appointed for the Feast of St. Luke, Psalm 103.
The first lesson is written in the book Ecclesiasticus, chapter 38, beginning at verse 1. Honour physicians for their services, for the Lord created them. For their gift of healing comes from the Most High, and they are rewarded by the King. The skill of physicians makes them distinguished, and in the presence of the great they are admired. The Lord created medicines out of the earth, and the sensible will not despise them. Was not water made sweet with a tree, in order that its power might be known? And he gave skill to human beings that he might be glorified in his marvellous works. By them the physician heals and takes away pain. The pharmacist makes a mixture from them. God's works will never be finished, and from him health spreads over all the earth. My child, when you are ill, do not delay, but pray to the Lord, and he will heal you. Give up your faults and direct your hands rightly, and cleanse your heart from all sin. Offer a sweet-smelling sacrifice and a memorial portion of choice flour, and pour oil on your offering as much as you can afford. Then give the physician his place, for the Lord created him. Do not let him leave you, for you need him. There may come a time when recovery lies in the hands of physicians, for they too pray to the Lord that he will grant them success in diagnosis and in healing, for the sake of preserving life. Here ends the first lesson.
The second lesson is taken from Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 7. Tychicus will tell you all the news about me. He is a beloved brother, a faithful minister, and a fellow servant in the Lord. I have sent him to you for this very purpose, so that you may know how we are and that he may encourage your hearts. He is coming with Onesimus, the faithful and beloved brother who is one of you. They will tell you about everything here. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, greets you, as does Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, concerning whom you have received instructions. If he comes to you, welcome him. And Jesus, who is called Justice, greets you. These are the only ones of the circumcision among my co-workers for the kingdom of God, and they have been a comfort to me. Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of Christ Jesus, greets you. He is always wrestling in his prayers on your behalf, so that you may stand mature and fully assured in everything that God wills. For I testify for him that he has worked hard for you and for those in Laodicea and in Hierapolis. Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas greet you. Give my greetings to the brothers and sisters in Laodicea and to Nympha, and the church in her house. And when this letter has been read among you, have it read also in the church of the Laodiceans, and see that you read also the letter from Laodicea, and say to Archippus, see that you complete the task that you have received in the Lord. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand, Remember my chains. Grace be with you. Here ends the second lesson.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. physician whose praise is in the gospel to be an evangelist and physician of the soul may it please thee that by the wholesome medicines of the doctrine delivered by him all the diseases of our souls may be healed through the merits of thy son Jesus Christ our Lord and all just works to proceed. 
Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, The choir now sings the anthem Strengthen ye the weak hands. The words are from the books of Ecclesiasticus and Isaiah, and the Book of Common Prayer. The music is by Sir William Harris. The anthem was written for St Luke's Day and meditates on God's healing for all creation.
Let us pray. We turn in humble prayer and fervent praise to God, asking that our petitions may rise before him as the incense we have offered, and that he will accept our sacrifice of praise. We pray first for his holy church throughout the world. Within the worldwide Anglican family, we pray for the Diocese of Huba in the Sudan, for its Archbishop Joseph Biringi Hassan Marona, as we give thanks for the life and ministry of Luke the Evangelist, we pray for all people, churches, places and institutions which bear his name. And within this Diocese of Truro, for the parish of St. Luke Boscopa, together with the parish of Treverbin, for the appointment of a new priest in charge to those parishes, and for the assistant curates, Peter Hoare and Valerie Perry. And we ask for God's blessing on all who translate and interpret the scriptures today. We thank you, Father, for your holy word, made known through prophets, made firm through scripture, made flesh in Christ, made present by your Spirit. We thank you too for all who labour long and hard to hear and know and to share your word with all the world. Help us always to listen for that word. Make us expectant to hear, ready to respond, and willing to change. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. On this festival of Luke, the beloved physician, we pray for all involved in the work of healing today. God of love, we ask you to bless those who share with Christ a healing ministry, researchers, doctors, surgeons, nurses, and all who offer the Church's ministry of healing. Use their sympathy and skill for the relief of suffering, the conquest of disease, and the restoration of health. And bring your whole creation subject to the bondage of decay, to the glorious liberty and wholeness that is your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In his Gospel, Luke reveals the love and compassion of Jesus for all who are marginalised, the little, the last, the lost and the least. We offer our prayers for all in need today. Lord Jesus, when you lived on earth, you were born in the humility of a stable. Your parents became refugees. You were rejected in your hometown. You shared the life of the poor. You were tried and executed out of political expediency. You learned full well the life of the marginalized and knew the depths of human need. Lord Jesus, present with us now, meet us in a world of desperate need where mothers give birth without proper medical care. Refugees are herded from land to land. Politics make families rootless. Poverty destroys the lives and hopes of many. And false imprisonment and torture disfigure the beauty of your face again. Be with us, we pray, in our worship and our living. As we meet you in the lives of the poor, and recognize you in the little, the last, the lost, and the least. Help us to know our own true need of you, and strengthen us to meet the needs of others. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us ask Mary, Mother of our Lord and God, to pray with us and for us.
Blessed are you, sovereign God, gentle and merciful, creator of heaven and earth. Your word brings light out of darkness. In Jesus Christ, you proclaim good news to the poor, liberty to captives, sight to the blind, and freedom for the oppressed. Daily, your spirit renews the face of the earth, bringing life and health, wholeness and peace. In the renewal of our lives, you make known your heavenly glory. Bring us at length to the final vision of that glory, when we will share the life of heaven with Our Lady Mary, with Luke and all the saints, with whom we join our praises and our love, to you, the one true God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, now and for ever. Amen. We sing the hymn, Thine arm, O Lord, in days of old. God give you grace to follow Luke and all his saints in faith and hope and love. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.